Hey, welcome back to The Hand Toolery. I'm Andrew Malisi. Today I'm gonna to make a small gauge. It's gonna be, it's an octagonizer is what Roy Underhill calls it, but it's a spar gauge. And it's a way to turn um, something that's been squared into an octagon. And so like a table leg, for example. And all you really need to know is that there's a ratio that you have to keep with it. And it's seven, 10, seven. And that's pretty close, seven, 10, seven. So if you're, if you have a, um, Let's say you have a table leg here, right? All right, so the line right here that you're gonna cut away to, this needs to be a ratio of seven, this needs to be a ratio of 10, and this needs to be a ratio of seven. And then it'll wrap around to the other side and be seven, 10, seven, okay? So imagine it continues like that, all right? So there'll be seven, 10 in the middle, and then so seven here, 10, and then seven, right? So that's the basic idea of it right there. And it's pretty simple. We can use eighths and that comes out really quite nicely. So if we do uh, if we do seven eighths, so we're gonna start with our end mark, then we do seven eighths, and then we do 10 eighths, which is one and a quarter. And then come over here and then seven eighths. All right, so this is one stop, this is another stop, and this is a scribe, and this is a scribe, okay? So these will write on the outside, on the outside edge, and these will score the lines. Make sense? That's it, it's that simple. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna lay it out on here. It doesn't really matter where it goes. So I've got about a piece that's almost four inches long. You know, it really doesn't matter because that's seven eighths plus seven eighths plus an inch and a quarter. So that's, um, three inches long. So I'm gonna put my three inches in the middle, more or less there, I'm gonna go starting line, seven eighths, I'm gonna end it right there. Then one and a quarter. And then if everything works out, that should be seven eighths, which it is. Okay, now I'm gonna transfer these lines across, mark center line and drill some holes. There we go. Now I'm gonna mark the center line. It really doesn't matter where. It does, I want it to be nice. So I'm gonna drill on each one of these intersections, but these will be the ones that score the line. Got this all in my vise. I'm just gonna use my awl to mark a hole, I'll mark a starting point. These are both blunted, so they're just gonna go all the way through. These two are the same size, and they're gonna also go the same, all the way through. There it is, that's the tool. I'll show you how it's used. Here we have a piece that's more or less square. It's not perfect, but it's close. And what we'll do is we'll just put it on there and we'll run it down like. All right, now we'll fill it in. It's close enough, right? So I'm gonna continue that line. So you can also, if you want, you can just make points like that, push it in, push it in and connect the dots. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plane away this one edge and show you what it looks like.
That's one face. Let's do a quick measurement. See how close we are. The distance here is just about five eighths. And the distance here is just about five eighths. Great. So that means it's good. So if we connect, let's do one more side. And that means we will be, uh, we can start. Well, let's just finish this off and see what it looks like. Okay, here's the final result. It's pretty close with a little bit more care and just evening everything out. I think we're good to go. That's a really quick octagon. This was about five minutes of work, not even to get this. So the great thing is it can do tapers as well because you just keep, all you have to do is keep the pressure on the sides. You have to keep twisting it and it'll follow the, the ratio. It's not about the measurement here. It's the fact that these guides keep the ratio. So that's what's really great about it. And so yeah. If you need to octagonize, you can use the octagonizer here, or you can, or which is, you know, which is also called a spar gauge. So yeah, hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching and see you around for the next one. Mm -hmm.